Stupid thing. Well, it seemed your team rallied around your, your quarterback to some extent to, to drop down to number three on the depth chart at the most important position and still beat a, a good, well-coached team that decisively. What does that say about just where your team is right now, just, just how good it is right now? Uh, I don't know. To two and one. The Patriots are under 500 for the first time in nine years. Oh, boy. Well, that's a few bucks. Either a shock to the players. They were switching well, personnel, and Bill's looking for his for his red hanky. And enthusiastically, he tosses it onto the turf. <laughs> a challenge from Belichick, and now he's into it with Adam Thielen. He just tried to show. He's like the receivers five, six yards downfield. You're supposed to do that at the line of scrimmage. Right, that you said Sean Lee visited you as a kid in Cleveland, or did I miss that when you were talking about you? Yeah. What was that connection? What were you on snap face there when we were talking about that? <laughs> 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 Gotta get it together. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a Pittsburgh guy, you know, friend of a friend kind of thing. You've prepared to face this Peyton Manning-led offense more than 20 times in your coaching career. Is there one common thread that stands out to you over the years? Um, I guess man. You'll notice Patriots coach Bill Belichick just taking it out on his Microsoft Surface tablet during a recent loss to the Buffalo Bills. See, the NFL is in the middle of a $400 million five-year deal with Microsoft to exclusively use the tablets on all NFL sidelines. That is a uh, situation uh, with which Bill Belichick has had enough. I'm done with the tablets. I've given them as much time as I can give them. They're just too undependable for me. I'm going to stick with pictures because there just isn't enough consistency in the performance of, of the tablets. So I just can't take it anymore. That actually qualifies as an epic rant from the Patriots coach. He spoke for about five and a half minutes about the tablet. Coach, do you think the fans have a right to know about what happened to with Chandler on Sunday? Yeah, I've already covered this. You guys told him what you need to build on something like that. You just say, okay, it's a medical situation. We don't try and find out. I've already covered it. Dylan. Specific to Chandler, how much will what happened affect your usage, you know, the way you use him in, in the game against the Chiefs? What, what happened on Sunday with him? Well, we'll find out on Saturday. I could just Xerox you a copy of the game plan and send it over to Kansas City if you got I mean, it might be easier for all of us. I have multiple friendships that are important to me, and that's what that was about. So it's not about politics, it's about football. We got a huge game this week against a great football team, a great organization. And that's where it all is going forward on Seattle. All right. Coach, were you um, happy or annoyed that Trump read the letter? Seattle. So your team's always been good at keeping outside distractions on the outside. Given the nature of this presidential race, Seattle. did you find it Seattle. did you find it uh, helpful to talk Seattle. to your players about this? If any of your players talk to you about this, are there Seattle. any concerns about any locker room rancor as a result of this? Can the quarterback position be evaluated this week? <laughs> Are you averse to having a future back? Well, like when Corey Dillon ran for 1,600 yards, would I be against that? Yeah, I don't think so. Do well, you think having a 37-year-old? We're on to Cincinnati. It's nothing about the past, nothing about the future. It's right now, we're preparing for Cincinnati. Okay, is, is, do you feel like the talent you have here is good? We're getting ready for Cincinnati. What is your response, though? Well, I mean, I, I'm just asking, do you think you've done enough to help Tom Brady? We're getting ready for Cincinnati. I Which hard to find anybody's role on our team that's the same every week so is there another part to that or was that both parts in there well then well then why then we want to end on a high note yeah. <laughs> no problem going on a high note then there's a report out that uh, Stephen Jackson well, let's just end on a high note <laughs>